Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. This is Mel from Melamore Nursery. I am here because, well, I have a couple of things, but you guys all know what this box means, right? Good things are coming and we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. There's a draw today. And I should let you all know that before I make this video live, whomever I draw, I will go and uh, let them know on the actual video. Uh, the reason I'm saying this is because some kind person told me that and I knew this, I had heard of this, that when it comes to anything like PayPal or Visa or MasterCards or things like that, um, unless I have the address already uh, or like the email address already because PayPal is by email address, um, they're scammers, sadly. Um, so none of you know exactly how many I said, I said that if there were, oh gosh, <laughs> I need to go get my book guys. I really do. I'm so, so sorry. <clears throat> I am extremely sore today. I have been writing and I have some news. I have some news. Yes. Um, for November. Uh, some of you from my other channel might know this news already. But I will release that news during this video as well. Okay. So on the video, which wasn't too many videos ago, folks. Sadly, I haven't been on this channel very much. I have been uh, doing a lot more of my personal writing and paper is less heavy than Reborn Dolls. Um, I've had uh, more of a walking regiment and I have been doing that to help strengthen my core of my body. And the releasing doctor from the hospital approved me to walk uh, which I've been doing without a walker, without a cane or walking sticks. Although uh, today I noticed <laughs> I needed walking sticks. So if I go for a second walk today, it will be with the attempt of walking sticks. However, uh, that is because I'm really sore. So I've just now taken some stronger meds for my back. Um, and I, I did bring down Mackenzie. Mackenzie is... <laughs> Well, she's two now. Mackenzie is two. And happy birthday, Mackenzie, darling girl. And it's Saturday, the 28th of October. Yes, Saturday, the 28th of October. And I, I said the cutoff would be at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the 27th of October. Um, and it was at 10, 19 PM Pacific standard time last night, because if my daughter didn't call me, uh, I would have completely forgot to cut it off. So I did at that time. So there was actually two hours and 19 minutes more than the actual cutoff time, but I do have rules for that. And my last video that I did, I brought on Sweet Darren, who was the first reborn in my nursery. And I spoke about how he got his name. It was more of a sad kind of story, and I apologize for that. But I, I did want to pay homage to L.A. and his wife, Betty, whom I do miss. So today's video, I, I will be uh, changing Sweet Mackenzie, as you can tell. Look at her. She's like freezing cold. And let's see if I can't get her so that you guys can see her. And her silicone is freezing cold, even though there's heat up in the nursery. Oh, 
and I'm really praying that this walking will allow me to um, strengthen my back enough so that I can film in the nursery in the new year. That's my goal and my aim. But she's got this very sweet, this is her pacifier, by the way. She takes a full pacifier, but she doesn't need it. Um, she is my little Australian 21 inch full body silicone. I did get a question um, from a subscriber asking me about what happens when silicone starts peeling on the neck. Uh, folks, I, I, I hate to tell you, I, I am not an expert. Um, she said it was a drink and wet and it started peeling on the neck. Uh, because I'm not an expert, I referred her to an expert. That's just the kind of person I am, okay? I, I can't give advice when I don't know. I don't know. And I can't possibly know everything. Um, and so there are many, many, many people who um, might know. You might want to reach out to maybe Yarlis over at Yarlina's Reborn Nursery. She, she has got quite a few uh, silicone babies and maybe she will know. Um, more of who to direct you to. Um, and I will put uh, Yarolina's Reborn Nursery. Sorry, that's my that's my watch. My watch uh, reminds me to drink water every two hours because I'm severely dehydrated, apparently. Um, but yeah, I will leave a link to, to Yarolina's channel and um, maybe she has somebody that knows... I, I'm sure she does, has, has more knowledge than I have, much more knowledge. I have uh, four silicone dolls. I started hashtag silicone Saturday, which today is Saturday. So here is Mackenzie. Uh, she was my second like full bodied silicone in my nursery that is still in my nursery. Um, I, I've had a few other ones. Uh, that have been adopted out, but she she just melted my heart. And she's from Australia. I have Clara, and Clara is from Russia. She is my 19 and a half inch silicone, uh, full bodied silicone. I have little Joey, who is a no name silicone. And then I have Nora Bakara, who is a um, Heidi Lynn um, cuddle baby with a silicone head. Those are the ones that I, I, I have and only the ones that I have. Um, I haven't done any box openings on my channel for a long time. And there's a reason for that is because I've opened the doors now to my other hobbies and also because I, I know I have too many reborns in my nursery and too many babies in my nursery and it's killing me, but I have to downsize before I'm allowing myself to bring in new ones. Um, because folks, I, I could look at I could look at these reborns and want more every every day. And um and yet I I just, you know, it's like having, I don't know. Imagine if you had 12 children, you know, you keep on having children just because, you know, you love children. I mean, I love children. I just, you know, I I I don't think I could have like, you know, as many children as I have in dolls. <laughs> um, needless to say, look at how cute she is. Oh, she's so sweet. And she's kind of like melting away on her blanket here. I love this little blanket. And I like the blanket to kind of come up over like that. She is in a vintage little dress. And I need to change her because she's cold. She's cold. And I'm going to put her into something that's very 
fall slash wintry. And I'm also going to do uh, three other hashtags. Uh, one is um, actually four. Um, one is uh, from Patricia over at Patricia's Dully Dreams, which is play day Saturday because it is actually Saturday as well. And then uh, I'd like to do Kitty and Toddy. Kitty and Toddy's, my, my apologies, hashtag from Little Wobble Nursery. And their hashtag is Casual Fun Friday, which of course I missed. I had full intentions of coming on. Uh, I don't know where the time is going, guys. It's whipping by, like, unbelievably fast. And when I tell you why, you'll understand. Well, some of, like, uh, like between the appointments I've had, and also I've been working on a draft of a story. Um, so, and it's just a rough draft. But however, that still is very time consuming. I haven't uh, done a genre like this in a while. And I only mention it not because I bring up the genres on the channel. I don't talk about my writing and what it is or the pseudonyms I write for. I just bring it up because to let you all know, this is where the the bulk of my time has been. And, um, and it's also the reason why I have a very sore back, uh, because you hunch over, right? Like you hunch, you hunch over to write. Like I haven't figured out a way to write properly. Um, while I'm talking, I'm just going to start dressing sweet Mackenzie or this video is going to be way longer than my normal. Um, those that have followed me for a while, maybe you love the stories and the baby changings and all of that. And those that are waiting desperately for the draw, well, you know, I'll get her in an undershirt and I'll do the draw. And then those of you that are just here for the draw, you know, you can, you know, click off <laughs> if you want. Uh, I don't want to hold you prisoner to watch, you know, something you don't want to watch. Uh, I do realize that a lot of people just come to contests to win the contest and why not? Um, you know, but this, this dress here, isn't that cute? That's really cute. And she has a cloth diaper on, so I don't ever have to worry about her. Um, she is sculpted very beautifully. She's wearing a Pumpkin Seeds Clothing Company extra small diaper. And I will turn it around so you can see. I've been asked about her diaper um, from other silicone owners. So come on, baby girl. Let me turn you over. Can you guys see that? You can screenshot it maybe. Bring it up. There you go. She is getting a bit of a little bald spot here. This little silicone girl was the one and only. She is named after Mackenzie Ray who made her in Australia. She is the only one uh, of her kind she broke the mold and she was the very first that Mackenzie Ray ever made. And in talking to Mackenzie Ray, when I bought her, she said to me, she, she's not perfect. She's not, once she realized that there was some flaws to her, she, she discounted her quite a bit. Um, it is her first one. Like, like on her ankle here, the mold kind of collapsed. So she's got like a wider ankle here. She's got some bulbous ears that she didn't bother like uh, taking the silicone away from. These things don't bother me. I love her mouth. I love the downturn of her mouth. I love the fact that this open hand is like that. Look at those long hands. I've got big hands myself. And that this hand is like this. I think for a first time job, she, she was done really well. Oh, and I almost forgot Rain. Yes, I still have Rain, folks. Rain is the Claire Taylor uh, partial silicone doll, which means she has um, her arms and legs and head are silicone. But the body is cloth. So I actually have five. 
Okay. So I'm just going to get her in an undershirt and then I'll do a draw. So this undershirt came home with my Sally sculpt, Essie. So I'm going to put that on Mackenzie right now. And yeah, um, so I have, I have been a busy girl. Uh, <laughs> I honestly have been, and that's okay. I'd rather be busy than bored. Um, I haven't been on here a lot, and I... <laughs> I, I started this channel off and I was on every single day for over a year. Every single day for over a year. I, I, I don't do this for um, income folks. I don't. I do have multiple sources of income, but this is not one of them. I do, however, have this channel monetized. Um, I don't say this so that other people can say, oh, well, you know, you're better than me or you're, you're talking like you're better than me because, you know, I do uh, get money for it. Um, I can claim those funds whenever I want to. I just haven't um, because I know the tax implications and what they'll do to me. Okay. So what's the point of making say, okay, let's say I made $200. Okay. Um, because uh, YouTube is an American owned company and they want your tax information. So that information would just be floating out in another source. So that's that's issue number one. So I haven't given them my tax information. Issue number two is, say I claimed $200 from them, okay? So by giving them my tax information, they would calculate X amount of money that would then come off that amount. But that's not everything. Because I have multiple sources of income and... Uh, I would then be taxed again on my income tax because we do yearly income tax, just like I assume, you know, down in the States and everywhere else does income tax. Then I would be taxed there. At the end of the day, when I worked it out, I think it's a buck 15, guys. Like, it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. Um, and I don't want this to be a job. I don't want this channel to be a job. I just want to control the ads. I want it so that when you watch a video from me, that you feel like you're coming to a safe space. And there she is. Oh. And I'm going to just kind of roll her to her side a little bit so you guys can see her while I do this draw. Um, and... You know, so that that's kind of why I do it the way I do it. So I kind of lost track there, didn't I? Um, but yeah, I, I think I was talking about how I used to do videos all the time. And it's been harder and harder because my schedule has been busier and busier. And, and I'm not putting, I'm not putting pressure on myself to make videos. I'm just not. Because they won't be authentic then. And it's very... And it, no, it's extremely important to me that my videos are always authentic. Always. And, um... Yeah. So, the rules for... Oh, I didn't finish telling you about the hashtags we're doing today. So, we're doing... Play Day Saturday. We're also doing Casual Fun Friday, which is from Kitty and Toddy over at Little Waddle Nursery. We're also going to do Thankful Friday, which is from Tammy over at Teeter Tots Nursery. And because I do have a new article of clothes, too, actually, that she'll be wearing. Um, and I'm just checking the insides of them. I think they'll be okay on her. Although I'm looking. And after this video, I think I'll take these pants off and like run them through the laundry because they are red and black check, which I will show you. And I'm just going to cut the tag off in front of you. It's from Joe Fresh. So I'm going to cut these tags off because there's always a zillion tags on clothing. Good Lord. 
So what they are, and I didn't bring any socks or anything over for her, but that's okay because these will come right off. These look huge, right? Um, and they're three to six months. And she is newborn or zero to three months, okay? But that's okay because I like them a little bit, you know, um, bigger. And then this sweater kind of goes with it. It's got the hood. And it's from a whole different th thing. It's Carter's. It's six months. Um, and bra the brand new tag is on it. And this is when Toys R Us here did a closing out sale. So I got it super cheap. I'm just going to grab her some socks so you guys don't have to see her little bare feet cold. Even though I will be taking taking the pants off because I don't want this red against her silicone even though her silicone is cold okay so I have to move again my apologies if this annoys you guys oh my goodness I did come back from a walk and I'm stiffening up but I did take something a little stronger when I got home I was like okay Mel you will take something stronger so I'm going to just put on these beautiful knitted booties and some white socks with the whole thing. Okay, so the rules to the contest were you had to be 18 plus. You had to be a subscriber and I would check. And folks, I did check. And you all were. Thank you very much. I know I'm going to lose subscribers, but like I, I just finished telling you, um, I want people here that want to be here. So, you know, if you've come over just for the contest, well, good on you. I mean, that's fine. It's not going to bother me. You must write, I'm in. Okay? Two of you did not do that. Two of you did not write, I'm in. And I went over it with a fine-tooth comb. Not once, not twice, but three times. Two in the actual YouTube video, okay, with the twins. And once on the YouTube studio app in case. Because sometimes, I don't know how it would happen, but some, you know, like I don't mind like, like, sometimes there's a person that doesn't know how to edit, so they just respond to their own thing, but it's still in the same box. I think Patricia from Patricia's Dolly Dreams did that. A while back, I said that that would be okay, and that is okay. And she put her entry in that, so I hearted that and liked the other one. So if you're looking down and you see that and you wonder, well, what's going on here? That's what's going on. I tried to include as much as you as possible, providing you follow the main guidelines. You have to be 18 plus. Like that's, that's a no brainer. If you're not, right, it's a law here in Canada. Okay. You must tell me where you found out about my channel. Okay. But then I went on to say, um, or what you like about my channel, or, you know, like, you could add to that, the where, whens, all the W's, right? Where, when, why, whatever. But I was really looking about where did you find out about my channel, you know? But, you know, I was pretty generous here. You know, if, if, if you, if you uh, made some sort of effort to put in more than just I'm in, and thanks, you know, like, um, and this was a big one. You must be positive. Um, and I encourage that too for the winner. And please do not announce the winner in the description box, even though I'm going to get a hold of the winner before you guys get to see this. And the reason is because of the PayPal issue. Thank you for whoever took the time to write that. 
because the person that took the time to write that did not even put in an entry. So they actually care. Um, I said up to 25 entries, up to 25, so 25 and less would be 50 Canadian dollars in your PayPal. And I said 50 or 25 to 50 entries would be 75 Canadian dollars into your PayPal. And anything above 50 would be 100 Canadian. Well, folks, I'm going to show you the list now. Now that we're all clear on the rules, please take note of your number. And I hope you guys can see it through the paper. Okay, because all I did was write down the number. Okay. So on this, I got 26. So you already know that we passed the, we've passed $50. Yay, right? Yay. And then we got to 48. We were too shy, well, three shy of getting to 100. So this is worth $75, this draw. Canadian. So if you live in the UK, our dollar compared to your dollar is not great. It's not. But 75 Canadian dollars is what you're going to get, not 75 pounds. You need to be clear on that, okay? Because I think your dollar is like, like it would take two and a half of our dollars to make one pound. I mean, even in, even in the States, uh, at $10 U.S. money would be like $13.73 Canadian. Okay, so I, I am paying in Canadian dollars. I am from Canada. These are my funds. Okay, this is my gift to one of you. And so I made that very clear. It would be in Canadian funds. So we're, this draw is worth $75 Canadian in your PayPal. And I said specifically, you had to have a PayPal. Or if you didn't, that I would do a Visa or a MasterCard. Okay. And that Visa and MasterCard or MasterCard I could only send to certain places. I cannot send to Mexico. There's certain places in Europe I can't send to. Do you know what I'm saying? I can't send to the Middle East right now. You guys know the political climate that's going on. Okay? All right. So, I'm going to give you your guys' sheet to look at your number because I did it all by number. And I'm not going to count them out, guys, but you're just going to have to take my word, okay? Okay? So, do you guys see your names? Do you see them? You can screenshot them if you want. Please don't give it away in the description box. Just congratulate the winner. I would love for the winner to, to watch this video um, and know that they won. Um, how I'm going to do it is I'm going to probably post up the video then I'm going to get a hold of the winner and I'm going to leave a secret code, a secret word of some sort. Okay. And that's how I'll know. All right. So if you're not that person, you can't overtake that, that draw. All right. So when I was cutting up papers, they're teeny tiny. There are 48 in here, guys. I truly, truly cut up teeny tiny papers. Do you see that? Um, good things are coming. I've been using this box for so many years now. It's not even funny. I bought it at the dollar store. I just love the aesthetic of it. Um, so oh, I want to get good and close so you guys can all see my hand fits right in there. So I'll use my little thingy to mix them up. I want to wish you all good luck. I wish I could do it for all of you, but this is just a two-year anniversary from me 
to you because I've been on YouTube for two years. And as I told you folks, I don't make an income from this channel. This is my money, my money to you because I appreciate your time. Now, let me tell you something. Your time is the most important and precious commodity of your existence. And when you spend time with me, I can't tell you how that makes me feel. So let's pick a name, shall we? Now, oh, I also wanted to say, if there was a number, I don't know. Is there a number in here that I can, like a six or a nine or whatever, like I would underline, like if it was a six, I would underline under the big part, you know what I mean? So you'd know, that I, that's how I did it, okay? I hope you guys know what I mean. Okay, there's one. One itty bitty little thing. I'm going to leave that down. There you go, Mackenzie. You can hold it. And. Okay. Look at that tiny little number. What does that say? 31. And you see, I've underlined it. So it can't be confused with. Well, it couldn't be confused with 13 anyways. I don't know why I did that. Except I have dyslexia, guys. So that's why I have to do it. So you see it? The number is 31. Who is 31? Mackenzie, do you want to hold that, love? You hold that. Okay, so this goes to 26. And on here, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, is a bushel and a peck nursery. Uh, where is it? Right there. So you have won, and if I am not mistaken, that's Ren. Ren, you have won. Now, I don't don't want to get too ahead of myself. My memory's like got holes in it since I've had pneumonia. But Ren was the one that, when I brought out Birdie, she, she was the one that translated Isaiah 41, chapter 3, I think it was. Anyway... Um, Bushel and a Peck Nursery, number 31. You've won 75 Canadian dollars. I will leave my email below. But you also know that I have an Instagram. So please go to my Instagram. Um, you guys all know it's Malamori Nursery. I don't need to link it. And please don't ask me to because I, guys, I'm so busy. I will leave my email, though. Uh, if somebody tries to contact me, and if you're watching this, that is not the winner. I hope you know that if you send an email nowadays, they can be tracked. Okay? And I will pursue it. I will pursue it. I will screenshot it, and I will send it, and there are places where you can pursue it. So I will. Because each phone, each electronic nowadays has an ISPN number. How do I know this? My son-in-law is into electronics and computers and all of this. So I know this like the back of my hand. So don't, don't try to be a scammer on my channel. It's not going to work happy for you at all. Okay? So there it is. Happy news. Yay. 75 Canadian dollars to Bushel and a Peck Nursery. Let me know how this is going to work for you. And why don't we finish dressing Sweet Mackenzie. And those of you that were just here for the draw, now you know. But please, 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 if you leave a comment, be positive, guys. Be positive. In the world that's not so happy anymore you know I, I just I'm trying to find things and ways to make it a happier place for people to be look at her oh just zonked right out she was like she didn't care babies don't care about money babies don't care about any of that stuff they just want to be loved held comforted and yes folks I do understand this is a doll but you know what? <clears throat> I've had a lot of anxiety um, for
for a lot of reasons, you know. Um, and I, I, I don't overly like to get into it, but, you know, media is everywhere. News is everywhere. I'm ex-forces. You guys can probably figure out why. Um, and I've never hesitated in telling anybody that not only was I broken physically in the forces, but I have severe and chronic post-traumatic stress disorder from things that I saw and witnessed. And so it doesn't bode well for me that every place I go, whether it be the dentist or, oh, I don't know, even just listening to the radio station and the garbage that I'm hearing and the debates and the arguments and all of the things that are going on in the world like I just want it to stop full stop now these pants are huge on her as you can see this is a faux little tie up so we're not going to tie it up all the way where are your little socks let's get your sweater on first with all of my silicones, I rarely use gloves anymore. I used to have to. Um, the key is manipulating the clothes and not the silicone. So that's what I do. I manipulate the clothes. And if I'm going to put anything on a silicone doll, I always make sure that it can stretch properly. And I treat all of my reborns as if they are newborns because they are interactive, one of a kind works of art. You might hang a painting on your wall and look at it for many years. But let me tell you, if you spent any money on that painting and it fell from your, your wall, say you didn't mount it correctly, you would probably have a heart attack. It's the same with me. I have to be very careful even when packing these Reborns up and down the stairs. Because if I was to drop one, let me tell you, I would pretty much have a heart attack on the spot. Uh, and it's not the money. It's what I've invested in these Reborn dolls or in these dolls or uh, however you want to look at them, babies. Uh, you know, like I call them many different things on my channel. Um, they, for me, are uh, many things. Sometimes they're therapy dolls. Sometimes I love the reborn fashion. Sometimes I I just want to hold something like and remind myself. They have stories and, you know, they bring me, they bring me joy. And I'm at an age now where that joy, I have to bring myself that joy. I have to do that. Now, sweet girl, let's get your little hat there. Now, she doesn't look as cute as she did in that dress, but she is cute. Oh, my goodness, is she not? Look at her. Aw. And I want to leave her bare feet, but I'm not going to because just like with any baby, I mean, I, I wouldn't dress them all warm up top like this and not and not have socks on so these ones are just a frilly little girl sockies and I have missed all of you guys but as you can clearly see I've been so behind on comments I haven't even hearted anything and I I get really anxious about that I feel very bad about that uh, and there's tons of reasons for that. My eyesight, I'm waiting to get into a specialist now for my eyes. Um, I've been referred by an eye doctor because no sooner than I got a pair of glasses within two weeks, those glasses didn't work for me anymore. So they knew it was a bigger problem. Okay, Mackenzie, we're going to have to move you, little girl. I've got a bunch of stuff medically going on with my body, but believe me, folks, when I tell you this, I really believe it's aging. <laughs> and you guys aren't really seeing her all that well. But, you know, I'm fine overall. You know, I'm sure my grandparents had this kind of thing going on, but you know what? They just didn't complain about it. I'm just sitting here complaining about it. 
So, um, I'm so fortunate though that I'm walking and, you know, I might not get to my dishes. Um, now there's a challenge that one of my planners has on my other channel. So I've been doing a lot of planning on my other channel, which is Everything Marmy. And one of the challenges uh, will help me with a lot of things because I talk very openly on that channel over there, folks, way more openly on there than I do on here. Uh, there's things I don't talk about for sure, but there's some things that like I just talk about everything because I'm just that kind of person. I can just talk and talk and talk because you know what? I write and I've, I've spent, I've spent a lot of my life alone. Uh, lo alone doesn't need to be a lonely, but I have spent a lot of my life alone. And so, or in, in the story tale world, you know what I'm saying? So one of the challenges is, and I've been wanting to do this for years, years. So don't ask me why I have two channels <laughs> when it kind of goes against that, but I've always wanted to try, especially now, especially now my PTSD is being triggered by the news media and everywhere I go, there are signs and images. Plus I want to do, like I've been working on my own writing. Oh, look at her. Look at her, look at her. I got to pull this um, hem out and I don't know that I can. I get that out of there. It's gonna let me. Have I tied it around there? I think I have. Um, so I've been pushing this month to get a manuscript done, or at least the first draft of something that I haven't done in a long time. I haven't done this genre in a long time, is what I'm trying to say. I haven't done this genre of this type of writing in a long time. Uh, many, many children's books. Yes. Under pseudonyms. Yes. Why? I just have an interesting family. Let's leave it there. Okay. And I want to do NaNoWriMo, which is National Novel Writing Month, which is in November. You can look it up. It'll give you all the information. It's NaNoWriMo, National Novel Writing Month. It's just abbreviated altogether. Uh, mainly because for the past four years, guys, I have not really been social, socially interacting with people. And I really need to. Um, it was actually the year before the pandemic. I threw my back out really bad and suddenly I wasn't out there anymore. And um, people need people, you know, it's it's great and fine to have people online but you need people in your neighborhood too and that's what I use my gifting program for so um I think one of my challenges I'm going to actually do and that challenge is to do 30 days without any social media here's spot look how big spot is he's absolutely huge but I thought Spot would, oh, you can't see him. You know what? Let's use Spot as a pillow. Can we use, can we use Spot as your pillow, Mackenzie? Because he does have the colors. Uh, how are we going to do this? There's Spot. We can't see anything, can we, darling? Aww. And then look at this cow. Now it says five on it, but I'm dyslexic, so that could be two. Huh, we'll cover that up. But it does match her colors. She's going on a play date, so she needs she needs red, white, and black. Spot's got a nice little lovey bow on him. So I think, guys, you're not going to see me all of November. Um... And it's for no other reason than I'm going to be spending time working on something that I really need to put my whole heart and soul into. 
and I won't be on my other channel either, but I will be back December 1st. So I hope not to disappoint anybody, but at the same time, I need to do this for me. It's not really a big deal. I'm not making it a big deal. It's not about any other reason other than I really want to involve myself in these social events that are going on. And I think there's like 18 official social events um, because it's a big deal. Uh, when NaNoWriMo first started, it was like something you just did online. And now there's all sorts of get togethers and meetups and you write with people and you go have cups of tea and, you know, it's the church of the writers. You know what I'm saying? And I want to, I want to get out there and do it. And, um, two of my doctors are going on vacation for two of those weeks. And, and I just thought, you know what? It's now or never. And it will help me. I think it will really help me you know, get my PTSD under control. It'll help me with my back because I'm investing literally two hours a day walking now. I'm slower than a slug, but I'm doing it. And I'm pouring my heart and soul on the page through a, a genre I haven't done in some years. So anyway, folks, that is today's video. How long did we go? Wow, long, 46 minutes. So the winner again is Bushel and a Peck Nursery. We drew number 31. Thank you all so much for spending your time with me. Thank you for all the tags that I've mentioned. And I will be back before the end of the month. And remind you all that I'm not going anywhere. It's nothing serious. It's just me living my life. And that's what we should be doing, right? Okay, folks, remember, we are perfectly imperfect. You are loved, needed, and wanted far, far more than you will ever know. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.